What's up guys, Scooter here with Macintosh Tips. Today I'm going to be showing you a great handy application. Uh, basically we're going to be screen sharing from the EB's iPhone 3GS, which you see right here, and my Macintosh. We're uh, connected on the same Wi-Fi network, and we both have the same app that's called Live View Screencaster. I'll just put the link in my pants where you can download this application for free. Also, it's in the App Store for free as well, so you can download it on your iPhone. This also works for the iPad, iPhone 4, all those mobile devices, um, and like I said, it's a screen sharing program. So the person on the Mac really has the control, which you'll see later in the video, of what the person on the iPhone can see. Um, and it's really nice. Let me just go ahead and show it to you. So I'm going to go ahead and boot up Live Screen Caster here on my, uh, on my Mac, and it instantly opens up. Again, I have a strong Wi-Fi network, which is really key. All right, and I have this iPhone uh, makeshift bezel type deal here, which I can move around on my screen freely. Also, on his iPhone 3GS, I'm going to just go ahead and slide to unlock. You will see I have the Live View application right there on that page, so I'm just going to tap that. And instantly, it'll come up with all the computers that are connect, uh, connected with the same app. So, for example, if my neighbor had a live view screencaster and we were still connected in the same Wi-Fi network and I had the app on my iPhone, then we could sync them together and I'll be able to see what he's seeing on his, uh, on his iPhone. It's not password protected, so it, gets, it could be a little weird if you know, everyone in the neighborhood did have a live view, but uh, don't freak out. It's not one of those creeper applications. Uh, it's really good for, like I said, screen sharing, and if you need something like a file or if you need to you know, see how something works before you go into a presentation or something, uh, just, you know, hey, buddy, get on this Wi-Fi network real fast, and let's go ahead and demo that. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to the Scooter 3 Local, which is my computer. It'll take a couple seconds to connect, but as you see, it's pretty much what you're seeing on my screen, uh, part of that Macintosh Tips logo that EB designed a couple days ago. So if I move the iPhone bezel over to the folder here, you'll be able to see a couple seconds. It'll jump over to the folder. I'll move it back. It'll jump over, take a couple seconds. It'll jump back over. Again, this is a free application, so don't expect too much. It's not going to you know, print money or anything like that. Uh, but it does what it needs to do, and it does it pretty well. Again, like I said, it probably does work better on the, uh, with an iPad uh, because the simple fact the iPad screen is larger and you can move around more, you can get more screen real estate. And EB's dad's right, calling. guys are back. So like I was saying before, uh, I'm pretty sure it does work a little bit better if you have an iPad because the iPad screen is a little bit bigger. Now, the person on the computer does have all control, basically, so I can't go in here on the iPhone and move around. I can't even switch to landscape, and I can't even hear audio when someone's playing a video. Uh, so those are three major things which I wish they would fix or just include in the next version, at least a landscape. Um, you know, a portion where I could flip the, the iPhone here to landscape or and or I could just hear audio, whatever's playing at the same time. Uh, but again, this is free. I mean, you can't really complain too much, right? And it's working right over the Wi-Fi seamlessly. If I'm on the computer, I have pretty much all the control of what you can see, what you can't see, and it'll just adjust on the iPhone as such. And again, the better the Wi-Fi connection, the better the, um, this application will work together. So if I open up Safari here, uh, on my Macintosh, all right. Basically, you can see what's on my screen. Obviously, as you can see there on the iPhone. One thing I do wish also on the Mac side that they could fix is that you can click through the bezel. Uh, it's one thing you can't do. So, for example, I can't click features until I remove the bezel from around features. Click it, then move the bezel back to see what you know what's on the web page. Um, so that's just a little little something there that they could fix. But I don't want to drag this video out too long, but I do want you guys to please thumbs up this video. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you dislike about this application. If you use it, if you have any alternatives, uh, which you would like us to review and just share with our audience. This has been Scooter at Macintosh Tips. Again, this is Live View Screencaster. It's a great screen sharing application that works well with your iPhone 3GS or iPad, iPhone 4, and your Macintosh uh, computer. So uh, I'm out of here, guys. Peace.